Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So this one's more of a housekeeping mail day kind of thing. It's actually a couple of weeks worth of mail, but only a handful of cards, since there really hasn't been a lot of mail that's come directly in. One of these is going to be actually a PSA grading pickup, so to speak, a grading reveal, however you want it. So a card that I sent in to get graded came in back in. So I'm going to show that first. And then I'll show two other cards, one for the Medano PC and then one for the Dennis PC. And that'll be it. This is more than anything housekeeping just to get me caught up so that we're all set, ready to go into the Spring Expo, which will be coming up next week. And hopefully if there's any other pickups, it'll be related to the Expo itself and something that I find in there. We'll see exactly what happens with that. And then I've got another video coming up here shortly, probably early this week. That'll be me kind of doing some of my prep for Expo and talking about that. So first we'll do the PSA grading review here. And it was actually a card that I've shown here on the channel in the past. And this is the 1987 Stuart Wrestling Macho Man Savage with Elizabeth. This is the with tab version of it. And you can see it's got a large oversized holder. Came back in a PSA 6. But since it is the one with the tab and there haven't been a lot of these submitted, this one is actually, I, th I think it's a pop 2 with none higher. So it's not like a lot of these have been graded in the first place. But it's a pretty neat looking card, and this is classic Macho Man here, kind of at the peak of his powers, Apex. It's kind of a neat issue, and again, with the tab, it's a little bit different, because you can also get it. Ones uh, have been graded without the tab here, without this bottom section. But I like the fact that this one's fully intact. So it's pretty neat. So that is the PSA return for that one. Next up here, staying with the wrestling side of things here for Dennis PC. Nothing too crazy here. This is an Allure Color Flow. This is the yellow green, appropriately labeled and clearly labeled. But this one is actually the last one that I needed for the rainbow. So I've got all the regular versions of this, plus the autograph version. There is, of course, a one of one as well, but I don't really consider that part of what we're talking about here. But there is a Golden Treasures one of one out there. But this is the last one I needed for all the regular versions of it, and uh, including the numbered ones. And last and certainly not least, we did have an addition to the Medano collection here. It's another one of these Leaf Ultimates cards. There have been several of them over the years, but this one was kind of neat. I did like it. It's actually a six-piece memorabilia card. So it's Ultimate Memorabilia here. This is the, I guess, Purple Spectrum, number to nine. And you've got Luke Robitaille, Timo Solani, Doug Gilmore, Pat LaFontaine, Medano, and Landy McDonald. These are all, all jersey pieces. There's the back, including all the information on it. Again, nothing too crazy, but it, since it is Leaf, uh, they do have this as unlicensed. But you can see there, they at least have all the images of all six players included. And this is, like I said, number to nine, Purple Spectrum. Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild, but a nice addition to collection, and I do enjoy that kind of thing. And that's it, the two main pickups there. The Macho Man is a little bit large to include in the frame with the size of the holder, but these are the two main pickups here, and I'll do an update to the Medano count. So since it is just the one card, I am up to 2,621 different with 314 autographs and another 641 memorabilia cards. I am not surprisingly stacking up another nice group of cards that are going to be coming in and ship my cards order, but I'm not going to do anything with that until after I get back from Expo. So right after I get back from Expo, I think I've got most of that stuff in already. So it's going to be a nice mix of things as always. So I'll definitely have a nice mail day to come up with after that. And hopefully, as I said, during the expo, maybe we'll pick up some other items that we can add to our various collections. So that's it for me for now. We're all caught up on pickups. More videos coming up on the channel. Live streams of Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. Except for this week upcoming, since it is the spring expo, I expect that the schedule will change a little bit. I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be, but I'll include some kind of a notification on the channel. So if you're not already following the channel or subscribed to it, you can do that. Hit the bell and notifications and all that, and you'll get the information when that happens. Aside from that, there'll be a podcast episode on Tuesday where I'm sure we'll talk about some stuff related to some of the upcoming Expo things and show preparation in general. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about Strongsville in the upcoming week here. We'll see how things play out because I reached out to at least a few folks related to that and see if I can get some information from the ground on that. So that'll be a fun thing to talk about as well. With that said, like if you like, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much, and we'll catch you in the next one.